Hi, it's Siobhan here. So, I went to Asda and I spotted this. This was £2.50, I think it was. It's a hunter's chicken with potato wedges. So, there you go. Serves one, of course. So, it's tender chicken breast pieces in a smoky bar bacon and barbecue sauce topped with a sprinkle of cheddar cheese. It's a 400 grams. This one contains 475 calories. Then your fat is 11 grams. Saturated is 3.4 grams. Sugar is 27 grams. Your salt is 1.5 grams. Can see there? You can either microwave it or, um, or put it in the oven. So what I did, because it comes with... Um, what you call it, wedges. So I thought I might as well just do it all um, proper and I did it in the oven. Because normally when you put potatoes in your microwave, they might go soggy. So I just did it the normal way, what I would do wedges. So what you've got to do, oh yeah, by the way, um, it come in like a two little compartments. And you've got to take the foil off and empty the wedges out so you don't overcook them. So yes, yeah, so that's what you do first. So you just leave your hunter's chicken in one half with the film off, of course, and you put it in the oven. It even tells you here. And, and it was so easy to do, it just says, remove out a package and film lid, remove wedges from tray, place tray on a bacon tray in the centre of the preheated oven and cook for 15 minutes. Then, once your 15 minutes is up, you put your wedges in for 30 minutes and that's it so yeah so that's all you do so but i did cheat a bit by putting a bit more extra cheese on so yeah but but there's not much cheese on top so yeah so the ingredients um is potato wedges is 39 percent chicken is 97 percent oh no sorry Cooked chicken breast pieces is 14%. It says chicken, 97 so I'm a bit confused. Got tomato puree, God knows what else. Um, I can't read some words, so I'll have to finish. It's got your milk and barley, which is your allergic things. So, I don't know if you're able to see that. So, I try and leave it there so you can zoom in and make it clear to yourself. Um, yeah, I think I'm sure this was two pound fifty, and it says IE. So does that mean Ireland? But as the it does say Leeds, so yeah. As you can see, it, see it there. Anyway, let's give it a go. Um, I've done another review on some meal for one, and this was like last year, I think. I think that was like a Chinese kind of style. It was quite um, good there as well. So um, please go and check it out. Oh yeah, by the way, it will be in as the playlist. So yeah, I think I'm sure that took up with there. I didn't use to make it myself a lot. So this is what it looks like. And what I do, I'll, I'll, I, will, I will view it. So um, lower the camera down so you can have a look. So as you can see there, this is how much you get, you can see, so it looks like that basically, so it's just a handful, I'll come back in a minute. Right, so if you just saw that, so that's what it looks like, it's got like loads of chicken sauce on it, it does smell really nice. You get a handful of wedges, I thought to try a, a small wrap as well so this is only cheese bit you get I'm afraid it's a lot of sprinkle of cheese so let's go with the um so so basically it just says um a barbecue and bacon sauce so I don't know if there's any bacon in because normal with onions chicken you normally put a wrap bacon round hmm 
are actually them little tiny pieces I'm sure they are bacon look so that's a piece of bacon Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has got little tiny pieces of bacon, and the barbecue sauce is nice and smoky, kind of sweet, kind of taste. Got chicken pieces like this, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I think you get about six, seven little pieces like this. So I would say this is like a quarter of a chicken breast. I would say that that amount. Mm, for two fifty, you probably could make it yourself, couldn't you? So now I'm gonna try a wedge on its own. To me, it just tastes like a normal wedge without no seasoning on but i've had better um um i've had better test wedges but if you had salt or something on it probably test better mm, it's not bad but like i said they're just so plain these wedges And this is the melted cheese. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to start making my own, but I've um, made it chicken again, it's really nice. I used to make it loads of times at one point. So yeah, it's really nice. I could maybe put in a wrap a bit of ch um, chicken. Could have had a bit more cheese on I suppose but it doesn't matter you might put a bit of a wedge in as well in me to um what to call it the wrap you can see got two little wedges and a bit of chicken because only small little wraps is I should have got some cheese my extra cheese from there but never mind, let's give it a go in a wrap. Actually, Unter's chicken in a wrap is quite nice. You do get loads of sauce. It's a shame they didn't add a bit more chicken. And it's shame what they didn't add seasoning to the wedges, but but it's okay. I would say for two pound fifty, if there's only one of you who likes one of chicken, or if you want like a quick meal, but but I would suggest it in oven rather than the microwave. So it does take forty five um forty five minutes. So yeah, so it's not quick quick, is it? But you could make your own, and it take roughly about that time anyway, and you'll get more for um more and plus you know you've done it yourself you can choose what barbecue sauce you like it's just a barbecue sauce right i'm gonna leave it there now with one it is a nice one like I said, if there's only one of you and you can't be bothered cooking it from scratch, it is ideal, I suppose. Um, it is quite nice. The chicken is nice. Like I said, the wedges are a bit under-seasoned. But once you dip in the sauce, then, mm, but you could maybe add salt to it. Or, of course, you could make your own hunter's chicken and your own wedges. Or you could have hunter's chicken, I guess, with rice. I'm not that sure. But anyway, uh, it is a nice one. So for £2.50, yeah, thumbs up. 
So if you've tried this or you've got to try it now because I've tried it, please let me know in the comments below. So I'm going to leave it there now. And yeah, so I'll see you all again soon. Take care, bye.